Hi everyone, for this question, it asks us to find the values of A and B and C. We satisfy this equation, means this fraction already expressed in partial form. Hence, in the grade for this fraction, first of all, x plus 2 over 1 minus x, x squared plus 2, it will be expressed in partial form where the questions already help us express up to this unknown. Then what do we need to do next is get same to the denominator so that we can get an equation. So A will time with the factor you don't have, x squared plus 2. Then Bx plus C will time with the factor of 1 minus x. Then we can start let. So we have three unknown, A, B, C. We have to let it three times. Find from the roots here. The factor here, the roots, the factor 1 minus x, so the roots will be x equals to 1. Another factor we can use will be x equals to 0. Since we have a b x plus c, we have x equals to 0. b can be eliminated. Then lastly, we can randomly put a 1 number, let's say negative 1. When x equals to 1, we substitute. 1 square is 1 plus 2, so a will be equals to 1. When x equals to 0, when a is 1, we use here, then 0b plus c. From here, we can find out our c, which is 0. Then lastly, when x equals to negative 1, a is 1, negative b plus c, then negative negative become positive. So b we can get 1. Finally, we express up our partial fraction. where a is 1, b is 1, c is 0. Therefore, we answer the question. The value of a is 1, b is 1, c is 0. Then we proceed for the second part of the question. Hence, means use this partial fraction to integrate. So to integrate this, we substitute its partial fraction. Where we can see this is 1 over linear, we can use formula straight away. Our formula number 6 is about fraction. When you have linear at denominator, we can integrate, we get ln ax plus b linear over a. Plus C. So another special form where when our denominator is not linear, when it comes with a function, we want to check whether it having this special form at prime x at numerator. So our fx denominator is a quadratic. When we differentiate it, we get 2x. So we can Modify our fraction here, we times 2 and we divide by 2, so it becomes 1 over 2 coefficient out there. So that, in this case, we can get, this is a pattern of f prime x, this is the denominator function. So when we're having this f prime x over fx, we can use formula in the grid directly. Here we have ln 1 minus x over the coefficient x, negative 1. Then 1 over 2 is a con coefficient. Long to the function x squared plus 2. And then plus c. So we simplify it. Over negative 1 means negative long. So 
So if you want to combine these two lawn together, we can do that. Using your properties of the log, move back the coefficient become power. Then you can notice that lawn minus lawn. So the item will be in division. In modulus to make sure this log function always valid. So that's all for this.